After years of trying, the Independent School District finally has what it's been asking for, a new school. For years, Independence voters said no to a new junior and senior high school. Finally, last September, the district won approval for a new building. Now that school is just 15 months away from opening. KCRG TV 9's Chris Earle has more from Independence. This is one of the rare moments where the Independence Junior and Senior High School is not packed between grades 7 through 12. We have the most students in here than that we've had in probably 10, 15 years. We have over 600 students in this building. This is the future. Two miles west of the current building is this flat plot of land ready for construction after Wednesday's groundbreaking. Last September, nearly 70% of voters in the district passed the bond after many rejections for $27.5 million for the new facility. Another four and a half million is already earmarked from private donations. All to replace a school built in an era of bomb shelter drills and the Cold War, but not much cold air. I'm thinking it's going to be really nice knowing that we're going to have air conditioning for the hot summer days and then heating for the cold winter ones. For some students, a time to dream, such as for this freshman who hopes to find some space in the hallways 15 months from now when the new junior and senior high opens. Kind of be nice to not be so jam-packed and crowded in the hallways. Mm -hmm. You know, with 600 students here, it's it's pretty crowded, pretty yeah. hectic. Which will also make the 2012-2013 school year a balancing act of academics and action. All the moving, um, the, the amount of staff, the, it, it's just going to, we're going to have to kind of tackle it like, you know, a military operation. You know, when we... That was Chris Earle with that report. Larson Construction of Independence will build the new school, and Larson rebuilt much of the damaged Applington Parkersburg High School after the 2008 tornado there. It's also worked on numerous buildings at the University of Northern Iowa. Coming up, one cedar.